Yeah, very. I mean, I think these young ladies showed a lot of character. You know, I mean, obviously you don't want to get down to anybody. I mean, you obviously want to be ahead, but to be down, I think it was like 645, uh, 650 to go, whatever it was, and we were down 21. And these girls to show the character to battle back and honestly have the ball there with the chance to win. And, you know, Carly just, you know, made a great play. Unfortunately, you know, it went the other way for us. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you got to take care of some things before that. But it's proud of those kids how they battle back. And then to go up to Western, which is never an easy place to play. It's always a hard place to play. And so to uh, go up there and get that win, I was, I, again, proud of our girls this weekend for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, very big games. I mean, both teams are, are really good teams. I mean, they're, they are what they are for a reason. They're both, uh, they both play, I mean, they're both kind of a little bit different styles, but, you know, similar in some ways. I mean, TW obviously has Ashley Ingram. I think, I don't know if she leads the league in scoring, but she's right up there, you know, and she's, uh, she's tough. You know, she's been tough for the last several years. And then Tyler, they just play really well as a team. They play well together. And uh, so, it's a tall task, I mean, but we've proven, you know, the better teams that we've played on this schedule this year that we've we've been up to. And so these kids will be up and ready for the task and just have a, we need to have a great week of practice. And I, I know these girls understand that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, anytime you get a chance to have big games at home, that's what you want. And, you know, that's the thing about that you understand about this place is every game that people play is going to be a big game. I mean, people, you know, with the history and tradition of this place, people, you know, they, their whole goal a lot of times makes their season is to is to play West Texas, you know, and so it, it's no different with any team that you play, you know. So our kids, you know, they're understanding that, you know, more and more each day. And so we got to continue to improve because at the end of the day, you want to be playing your best basketball late in the season. And uh, I really feel like we're showing a lot of positive signs to get there. Um, we just got to go, got to go finish. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, from the very beginning, great question, from the very beginning, we've just continued to harp on it's week by week, you know, getting that consistency week by week, you know, and we're still missing some of that consistency right now, you know, and so um, every week is a new week and every week, you know, every week brings on a new challenge for sure. But our, you know, our ultimate goal is to get to where we're consistent week in and week out, you know, and uh, I think this team is still searching for some of those things, but I think we saw some positive signs last week moving towards that and like, look, I mean, you know, again, you don't want to get down that, but to be able to come back when you're on the road, I mean, sometimes it's, you know, coming back at home, it's not ever easier, but it's, you have the crowd behind you and stuff like that. When you're on the road and they had a great crowd there Saturday and, you know, they're all against you and to, to come back, I mean, there were some great positive signs there for us to build forward this week. In terms of, you know, looking at the game and or looking at the season in terms of two-game stretches and time, right. where would you say this I mean, I mean, you look, obviously look at the standings. I mean, you can make the argument it's the most difficult week, you know, of the of the year. I mean, but I mean, I don't know if there's any easy games in this conference. I mean, everybody's good. I mean, you can look at records and things like that, but I can also point to, well, if there's these four games turned out differently, this team would be above 500 right now, you know. So I mean, you guys know you guys have been doing it a long time that, you know, every play there's the margin for error is so small, you know, and our girls, you know, they're understanding that more and more. But if you were, I mean, this week's obviously a big week. I mean, you've got two teams that are way up there. I mean, obviously in the standings, but rankings as well. So we've got to be ready. You know, you talked about resiliency last week and just, you know, throughout the season. Any team's going to, you know, make a sleeper run and postseason or make a chance in the postseason with this being the team? Us? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry, yeah. I mean, I, I think, I'm sorry. I think this team definitely, I mean, we, we've got the pieces, you know, to do it. I mean, it's the consistency and the confidence that we've got to get to, you know, and that that continues to evolve and continue to happen. I mean, I saw some things on Saturday, you know, where especially down the stretch in that fourth quarter, where you could just see the confidence growing more and more. Um, you saw a lot of that on Thursday night when we played Western. I mean, think about the Western game for a second. Um, they came out and went, I think they were seven for nine from the three point line in the first quarter. You know, they had 26 points and you know, we were down 21. You know, our challenge with the girls was, was like, I think we've taken their best shot. You know, now it's time to go. And the girls took that on. I mean, you know, they shot almost 70% in the first quarter, Western New Mexico did. You know, um, Eastern shot 55% for the the seat, for uh, the game on Saturday. 
and you still had a chance with the ball to win the game. You know, so I think these kids' confidence is continuing to grow. I mean, people have made tough shots, you know, against us, but at the same time, we've continued to fight back, and that's what you want to see. How do you kind of kickstart you guys in the first half? It seems like kind of the last couple of weeks you guys have kind of slow started. Yeah. Kind of right yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting question you ask. You know, how do you how do you do that? And we we try to do some things in practice to help that along. Um, but at the end of the day, though, it's just really coming, you know, coming more ready to play, you know, and our kids understand that, you know, and they're, they're searching and trying to figure that out, too, you know, and I think you work on it during practice, you work on it, you know, you continue to bring it to the attention, and I think it comes down to confidence, too, you know, just getting that confidence of knowing that you can come out right away. Like, I mean, our ideal starts, like, you can think back to the Texas International Kingsville game, where we came out blazing in both those games, and that's what we got to get back to, you know, we got to get back to that. And I. I have full, full confidence this team will, there's no doubt.